Hey, what's up? You may have watched my previous video on this topic. Well, I'm here to show you that this method still works in 2022. Open the website link provided in the description below. x360ce.com Now select download for all games option. This is because it is the latest version. Now after downloading it, we have to install it manually because this software does not have an installer. Extract the zip folder here. Open the folder and move the controller emulator program to your desktop. Now we have to create a new folder for this program in our boot drive. Open the program files folder and not the folder with 86. As you can see I have been using it for a long time with less or no issues. But I will delete it for the tutorial. Now create a new folder and name it exactly x360ce. Now move the controller emulator into this folder. Create a shortcut on desktop to easily open it next time. Now you can get rid of these files. Ok. Now before we start the emulation process, we need to install Visual C compilation to minimize errors in the future. Click on the video at the top right card to watch on how to install it. Or you can as well download the compilation by clicking on the link in the description to download the package. Now you will be redirected to our website. Your first click will be an add click to support me. Now click here to download. This is the official website of Tech Power Up. They provide the latest version of Visual C runtimes. Make sure to download it. Now move the downloaded file to desktop. Now extract the zipped file here. Open the extracted folder. Now just follow me carefully. In case you see this pop-up issue, this means you have already installed that particular version. Don't restart your computer till we are done. Just follow me. Now we are done, let's move to the next step. Now run the emulation program as administrator. Now I will just briefly remove all these controllers let's start afresh. Now head to the issues tab and make sure it is clear. It should say something like, all ok, no issues were found. Now we can move on to adding our controller to the emulator. I am going to add a faulty controller first to show you signs of a bad controller. Many people were complaining about their analog sticks not correct or their analog is inverted in the game. 
so as I mapped my analog stick. You can see that it does not rotate completely. This is because the controller analog stick is bad. It's not the emulator, but the controller. Even after I tried countless times to work ways around to manipulate the controller, it still had issues. Now let me add a perfectly working controller. Okay clear the mapped controls let's map the controller to its correct keys. Now I just want to show you how your controller analog should be if it's working perfectly. As you can see I added only the stick up and stick right button. That's why I cannot turn it completely yet the controller is working. But I added all of them and see that it works just fine. But I suggest you use the stick axis X and Y because I had issues with the other method in Fall Guys. Now this is enough to emulate the analog correctly. And as always make sure that your analog is activated. It must glow red meaning it's activated. Do the same for the left analog stick. Make sure the stick up to down is set to empty for both analog sticks. Now map the rest of the controller with your desired key. Now press the buttons on your controller to make sure you are good to go. Ignore all these settings, just follow me. This will enable vibration for some controllers. You can skip it too if you don't need vibration. Now let's save our settings and get gaming. Make sure you always minimize this when you want to play a game unless your processor will be overloaded and your RAM will be occupied. Now let's run a game to test our controller.